Well, hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Hey, some of my beloved skeptics out there have posted such things uh, over the last few months um, as, Dr. Jeff, how dare you talk about athletics and training when you have never competed or done any athletic events yourself? Well, let's bust this myth right now. Busted, I don't even need to say anything. Um, anyone who would say something like that obviously has not done their homework. But let me give you a little bit of history about why I can speak about athletic performance and why I can develop things for athletes. Um, I always say that you need to really be an athlete to be able to talk to an athlete. So let's go all the way back to elementary school. Um, I competed in track as far back as fourth grade, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. I ran uh, hurdles, I ran the 100-yard uh, dash, did quite well, uh, won many ribbons, won sta many state titles, a lot of fun. Got into junior high and uh, I got into football, basketball, and track. Um, played three sports at my high school. I then moved into high school and I continued to compete in track, although it wasn't my favorite sport. But I got into more of the field events. Um, running just wasn't uh, that interesting uh, to me, um, although I was pretty good at it. Um, but it just wasn't something I, I really wanted to continue with. So I, I threw the shot and the discus. Uh, again, won many trophies, uh, competed in the state, um, set a few school records. Um, basketball, I was MVP high school. I was uh, high score, uh, most rebounds, uh, all conference. Uh, took our team into the uh, sectional playoffs. So did quite well uh, in basketball. I went on to play one year of college basketball, but um, again, I wasn't quite tall enough. So I was happy just to say that I actually played uh, one year of uh, college basketball. And I played on the junior varsity team and uh, it was a lot of fun. Football was kind of my, my main sport. Um, high school, I was uh, all conference. I was MVP, uh, leading scorer. I led the county in scoring, uh, touchdowns that is. Um, best condition athlete. Um, went on to play four years of college football. Uh, earned four varsity letters, which uh, this day and age is pretty difficult for an athlete to actually uh, achieved four varsity letters, but back then I was able to do it. Um, in high school, I played running back and outside linebacker. In college, I played outside linebacker. I was voted um, best condition athlete. Um, I was up there in tackles. I don't remember if I was leading tackler or second tackler, but um, um, I led the team in interceptions. So again, had a great college career. Um, got hurt and uh, didn't go into pros, which was my, my ultimate goal. But also, uh, in high school, I powerlifted. Um, I started powerlifting in seventh grade. Um, I held the state record in high school for deadlift, squat, and bench. I have trophies uh, that I had to get rid of. There were so many of them. Um, I held the school squat record uh, up until about maybe 10 or 15 years ago and I believe it was something like 640 pounds, uh, which again, back in the 70s, that was unheard of, somebody squatting that much. And we're talking raw. Um, all we used was a weightlifting belt. I didn't even know about knee wraps and things back then. I continued on with my powerlifting um, while in college, even though I was playing football in the off season, uh, I went and competed in several Ohio State meets. Um, I held uh, deadlift records. Um, as a matter of fact, somewhere around um, 1983 or 82, I was actually very close to the world bench press record. I was, that was my goal. I was going to go to it. At that time, I believe it was just under um, 600. It was only like 560 pounds or something, and I was sitting right at 550. Um, then it got slam bammed and you know went up into the high 600s. But anyhow, uh, pretty good achievement. So powerlifting, uh, I continue to do. After college, um, I continued to powerlift, but I also got into bodybuilding. 
So again, I set several state records. Uh, deadlifts uh, was seemed to be my best lift, um, but had fun. And uh, I moved to California in 82, and I had a very successful 10-year bodybuilding career. Turned pro as a uh, natural bodybuilder and uh, retired in 1992. So for anyone to say that I have no athletic experience, um, <laughs> sorry, I do. Uh, I, I have a lot of athletic experience. I've played a lot of different sports. Um, and even the sports that I didn't participate in, I still played like baseball because we didn't have a baseball team. So we were always playing baseball. Um, other sports like, you know, ice hockey, um, never played, but always enjoyed watching it. But anyhow, uh, just a little bit of uh, background about uh, Dr. Jeff's sports uh, curriculum. So I always believe, again, that if you're going to talk the talk, you have to have walked the walk. Um, any good formulator, in my opinion, you know, should have been an athlete first. Everything that I develop, I try on myself. Um, I am my best guinea pig. One of the things that I've learned over the years is to be very in tune with my body so I know when something works. And if it doesn't work on myself, then it goes into the circular file and I move on to something else. So that's one of the things I now enjoy uh, as a, a research scientist and formulator is anything on EFX Sports um, has to work for me first before I even go to my test sites. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing a little bit about uh, my sports background. Take care, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.